welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are a newbie. In today's video, I have 25 new Zoom games, some you've never heard before. These Zoom games are perfect for families, teachers, and church leaders who are looking to connect with their friends and family and students in a meaningful way and a fun way through the Zoom app and other video conferencing apps. I would also like to give a quick shout out to my teacher friends in Turkey. I had so much fun getting to know you all on our Zoom call. If we are meeting for the first time, hi, my name is Sean. Welcome. On this channel, I am passionate about bringing families closer together through fun and games. I hope today inspires you to have fun and stay positive. All right, let's jump into today's video. Here we go. The first game is a freeze dance party. This is something everybody can play together at the same time. You play some music. When the music stops, everybody freezes in place. Game number two is called the Animal Call. This is another game that everybody can play at the same time, but you're going to need to do just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of prep work beforehand. Assign a motion to an animal. For an elephant, it could be the elephant motion. For a bunny rabbit, it could be but make sure all of your players know the motions, know the animal, and then you're gonna call out the animal and everybody has to do the motion at the same time. Game number three is another game that you can play. Everybody at the same time is throwing an imaginary ball. Yes, you can play a game of catch online with everybody, but it is gonna take some teamwork and some cooperation and some coordinating. So you take the ball and you pass it, you pass it on. So have everybody either pass to the right, or pass to the left, or pass up, or pass down. You can even have people call out the names of their friends as they're passing ball. Johnny, Sue, Minori. All right, it's time for a pro tip. If in the midst of all these games, your players, you feel like they need a hug and you can't give them one, let's go in for a virtual hug. Everybody now. So when you go for a virtual hug, everybody gotta make sure your hands are off screen so that it looks like you're forming one giant hug circle with everybody hugging. Oh, virtual hug, everybody, virtual hug. All right, moving on to the next game. The next game is called Alphabet Four Square. This is a game that everybody can play at the same time. You are either going to need to use the whiteboard feature in Zoom, or you can do this with paper and pencils, markers, crayons at home with everybody. Go ahead and draw a square with four quadrants, and in those quadrants, you are going to name name, place, animal, and thing. Set a timer for about 10, 15 seconds. Kind of put your, you can use your finger on the screen and kind of go around as the clock is ticking like this. And when the, when the timer goes off, whichever quadrant your finger is touching, your students then either have to draw or write a name, place, animal, or thing. And they can do this on their own Zoom whiteboard or they can do it just paper and pencil and everybody shows what they drew or wrote. For example, for the letter M, they might draw mom or mountain or mouse. Game number five is the musical stop. Okay, this is a game that is a physical activity. Get them up and moving. Everybody can play at the same time. Grab a screenshot of a piece of music and share it on your screen. You'll need to assign different actions for the different type notes. So for a staccato, you could have players jump up and down. <laughs> For quarter notes, you could have them stomp like an elephant. Whole notes that you have to hold for a really long time, you could have them make a circle to get their arms moving. Game number six is another physical movement game. It's called Roll the Dice, Let's Get Moving. As a leader, you are going to need a die. I'll pop up a Pinterest post that I found right here for you to look at, and I'll link it in the description box down below if you want to use this picture as well. Do you remember the way we'd have like pep rallies in high school and somebody would walk around with their arms up and everybody would go like this and whole crowds of people and it would look like the crowd was in this just wave of people. Yeah, you can do that online. <laughs> this is fun for a large group of people. Start in the upper left hand corner wherever you want and say, all right, everybody, we're just gonna go through and one after the other, raise our arms and let's see if we can all get together. It may take a couple of tries, teamwork, teamwork. Game number eight is called Movement Memory. Yes, this is another physical activity game, team building game. Pick one player to go first. They will create a movement. 
everybody else has to copy that movement. They pick another person and that person creates a secondary movement but also does the first movement. So that person will go and then they will add their own second movement. Woo! Then they will pick the next person, that person. Woo! Beep! And so on and so forth until somebody can't remember a movement and then the game is over. Game number nine is called Silent Mirror. You're going to need a cell phone for this because you're going to need to text a person without everybody else seeing. You're going to text a person and tell them that they're going to be the silent mirror, okay? And then on go, <laughs> you'll say, okay, go. And everybody else has to figure out who the silent mirror is is. So the silent mirror will be doing some actions and then when somebody figures out who is doing the action everybody else has to mimic that person and do the action until everybody is involved in doing the action. Game number 10 is called Where Am I? No really, where am I? I'm filming this but I haven't inserted the background yet or changed the background on my picture so I'm wondering where am I? Tell me in the comment section down below because I don't know. <laughs> This is a great game for if you like to teach geography or you just want to have fun with your family and look back on some memories of trips you have taken. So you change your zoom background using the background zoom feature. It's very quick, just a little click of a button. You can upload pictures into zoom and use it as your background. You know what? I'm going to leave you some free zoom backgrounds. I'll leave them linked in the description box down below. It'll send you to my website. They're free. Won't cost anything. You can just upload them and use them as your background and your players will guess where in the world are you? Number 11 is go find something. I know that you all have already been playing this game because some of you have told me that's where I got this idea. Go find something. So you tell your players, hey, go find something pink. This gets people up and moving and it also gets people playing a game at the same time. You can say, go find something plastic. Go find something square. The possibilities are endless with this game. Number 12 is clapping rhythms. I don't know about you, but we used to do these anytime the teacher needed to get our attention. We would do, she would do clapping rhythms. So you clap and everybody claps and it gets your arms moving and it gets everybody playing at the same time. This would be great kind of breaking up some boredom. enough okay we're moving on moving on moving on number 13 is show and tell what kid doesn't love show and tell honestly what adults we as adults we love show and tell too right we love telling everybody we got a new car and we love showing it off we love we bought a new house we want to have our friends over and having a new house we can't do that can we we can't have our friends over no we're still practicing social distancing well most of us are some of us aren't if they've got something new or they just want to show their treasured possession have each player take a turn and show something that they love you might might want to take advantage of the mute feature on zoom just in case someone gets a little long-winded and goes past timing just 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 click that little click click that little mute button what's your snacking all right who's been eating a lot of snacks during this quarantine yes been trying out some new snacks, eating some old snacks, healthy snacks, non-healthy snacks, but I have a healthy snack game for you. It's called What You Snackin'? And it is available for only $2. It's a digital download. You get all the slides for this game. You can load it up into PowerPoint presentation. You can share your screen on Zoom. You can do with it however you like. You'll see an image like this right here. You don't know what it is, and then you'll see a slide oh, that shows your players what the snack is. This is the healthy option. I thought, you know, your moms, your parents, your teachers, you might not appreciate the unhealthy snacks, but I can make that game if you would like. Let me know in the description down below. What you snacking? That was weird. That was weird, right? Was that cringy? Was that cringy? Okay, moving on. It's time for another pro tip. If you normally reward your students with stickers, and I reward my toddler with stickers when she goes potty, you can still reward your students with stickers. Just stick them on your face. You look funny, you look silly. So if you have a game and you need to hand out rewards and you don't know how to do that, just stick stickers on your face. 
game number 15 is called Name a Country. You're going to need a map for this. Hold up the map. The first player names a country. The second player has to name a country with the last letter of the country just named. Did you get that? Game number 16 is Taboo. Use the whiteboard feature on Zoom. I will leave some instructions on how to play Taboo in the description box down below. Dots and boxes. Do you guys remember playing this in the pews at church? Was that just me? I used to play it with my siblings. <laughs> you can play this online. This is great for a one-on-one -on -one game with your grandma, with your mom, with your dad, with your son. Okay, it's a one-on-one -on -one game, people. <laughs> Use the drawing feature on Zoom to create your dot. One person makes a connection. The last person to connect the dots into a square gets to color that in or write their initial in the little box. And whoever has the most boxes after all the, the dots have been connected is the winner. I have a friend who has created a unique I Spy game and I'm pretty sure she has it on PowerPoint and slides that you can download. And I'm gonna place a link down below. It's great for larger groups to spy different objects. It's kind of like the old school paper form, but on screen, I just thought you would really like this game and to check it out. So I will leave a link to that I Spy game and her website in the description box down below. It's pro tip time, it's pro tip time. So you're noticing your players, if you're teachers, or church leaders, or even family members, if you're noticing that your kids are bored on screen or, or grandpa is fast asleep, you just make a silly face. Just make a silly face on screen to kind of wake them up. The other thing you can do to wake your Zoom call up is just go really close to the screen. Just really close, you know, just really, really close get their attention, you know, and then pop back. <laughs> Game number 19, activity, I should say activity. Activity 19 is coloring sheets. Did you know you can color on the Zoom app together and you can all color, to, you can all color together. I'm gonna show you a feature right here, right now of how you can color, but you'll just take any color sheet, free color sheet off of the internet, load it up and then use this feature right here to color together and everybody can do that. There's a setting in Zoom where everybody can contribute to your screen. So you can color together. Who doesn't love coloring? This next game is called What's the Theme? You're going to need to mute the it person, one player, and then instruct everybody else, say, we're gonna pick a theme and everybody has to say words that are only related to this theme. And then we'll unmute the person and they have to guess what the theme is. So for example, our theme is gonna be Disney. So you can say any words related to Disney and see if the person can, can figure it out. So you could do, you know, the names of Disney movies, the names of Disney characters, as long as everybody is naming something Disney related and when they guess it, then they choose another person to be it. Then you mute that person and you pick an, a new theme. So it could be like a letter or you could name things that are all a certain color. The categories and possibilities, again, are endless. So get creative, get creative with your theme. Game number 21 is called Draw It. Now I've done this game many times on my channel. Okay, many, I mean like two or three times where you take a paper plate and you put it on your head and you draw something related to a theme. So I've done Christmas themes, we've done Easter, we've done Frozen themes. Players don't have paper plates at their house. You can just use a plain piece of paper and tell everybody, say, hey, everybody draw an animal, everybody draw an elephant on the top of your head or everybody draw a beach scenery and give them 30 seconds, 15 seconds, and then everybody shows their picture of what they draw and you could have worn prizes. Don't forget that pro tip about stickers on your face for the winner. The next game is called Picture Story. You're going to need one unique picture for every player. So you're gonna to need to know how many players ahead of time that you have, and you need a wide variety of just random pictures. I love going to unsplash.com and getting free pictures there because you can use them anywhere. Now you're going to build a story based off those pictures. You will start out showing your picture and say, once upon a time, a princess was visiting a sandy beach. Then the next player will take their picture and create the next line of the story. The princess found a horse and became friends with a horse named Alfred. 
<laughs> so then you create a whole unique story around pictures. By not being able to see our loved ones in person, we sometimes don't get to hear the success stories, especially with children. They aren't getting the little affirmations that they need at school anymore or around their friends. So this is a perfect time to have an activity called success sticker. So you're going to need some post-it notes for this game. Go ahead and ask your Zoom players to tell you one thing that they have been successful at while home during this lockdown. Write that thing on a sticker, post it to your face, to your chest, to your shoulders, where everybody can see it and have just a wall of success stickers and affirmations and positivity. It's time for my last pro tip, but this isn't the end of the game, so we still have a few more games to do, but my pro tip is to have a themed Zoom call. So instead of just having everybody regularly show up however they will, you could say everybody wear a silly hat, everybody wear a certain specific color, everybody wear, if you're from a school, you could say everybody wear your spirit wear that you would normally wear at school. Pick a specific theme for your Zoom call to make it a little more fun and entertaining. We are down to the last two games. Name that tune. This is always a popular one. Just go ahead and hum, hum a tune and everybody guesses what it is. And it's even more fun when you have bad singers in the group who can't carry a tune and it makes it really challenging to figure out what it is. Can you guess this tune? I'm not that great at music. <laughs> That was horribly bad, so let me know in the comment section, could you figure out what that was? And our final game is called Goats in the Grass. So the way you play this game is you have to say an animal and a place. And so everybody takes turns going through the alphabet. So you would say you start off with the letter A and you would say ants in Antarctica. The next person would be the letter B, bees in Bali. And you go through the alphabet and if somebody hesitates and stutters, they are out. They are out of the game, they lose the game. And you try to get through the whole alphabet saying an animal and a place. If after these 25 games you are still looking for more ideas, I have three other videos with more ideas and I will link them in a card right up here for you to watch after this video as well as in the description box down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video, hit that bell icon, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!